Kids Yoga Pose Universe. Crow pose. Coming down to crouch, up high on your tippy toes and your hands down, nice and flat, fingers spread wide. Now crow pose is awesome for building your strength, especially in your wrists and your core. It's also very good for learning how to trust yourself. Let's give it a go. Come high up on your tippy toes and snuggle your knees in towards your armpits. Tilt your weight forward a little bit and see if you can lift up one foot and lift up two. Oh, try not to wobble and press your hands down. Yes! Oh, hello, Vince. I'll be with you in a minute, just concentrating on my crow pose. Yeah. There we go. Let's go and have a cup of tea now. Come on. Crow pose. Dancer pose. Raising up your arm and taking your other arm to the side like you're a waiter holding a tray. Now lifting up one of your legs and seeing if you can catch your foot in your hand. Start to kick your foot into your hand, standing strong in your standing leg, starting to tilt forward a little bit as you kick, kick, kick your leg. Now dancer pose is great for stretching the whole of the front of your body, opening your chest and your shoulders. It's also good for learning how to balance, especially if you're focusing on a little spot in front of you. It's also good for strengthening your legs and your ankles. Now let's try it on the other side, lowering all the way back down and turning around. Let's reach our other arm up, take our hand to the side, catching our foot in our hands and starting, oh try not to wobble, to focus on a spot in front of you. Now kick your foot into your hand as you learn how to balance staying strong and still, kicking your foot into your hand, into your wonderful dancer pose. Oh wow, all these beautiful flowers for us. We've made it, we're the stars of the show. Dancer pose. pose. Coming to sit on our bottoms with our legs out long. We bend up one of our knees and we put our foot on the other side of our long leg. Now we stretch up through one of our arms, the same arm as the long leg, and we take our other hand behind us for balance. We bring our elbow to the outside of our knee, sit up tall and stretch and see if we can twist to look over our shoulder like a deer, being very alert, keeping a lookout. Oh, what's going on? Now deer pose is very good for boosting our brain and for strengthening the legs, the shoulders and the arms. Very good. Now let's see if we can do it on the other side. Stretching those legs long again, we bend the other knee in. We bring our foot over to the other side and stretch up with our arm. We bring our elbow to the outsides of our, our knee. We take our hand behind us, sit up tall and look over our shoulders. Being a little nervous deer, keeping a lookout. What's going on? Ah! Deer pose. Dog pose. Coming down onto our hands and our knees. We spread our fingers wide, tuck our toes and press our hips up to the sky. Yes! Now look, there's a friend. Hello. 
Oh, that's nice. Now, dogs always like to wag their tails when they're pleased to see you. So let's try that now. We reach up with one of our legs and we give it a wag. Waggle, waggle, waggle. Very good. Lowering it back down. Now, dog pose is very good for strengthening our arms and stretching the backs of our legs. And because we're upside down, we get lots of lovely fresh oxygen to our minds. So it's very good when we're feeling a bit tired. Let's try wagging our tail on the other side now. Stretching our other leg up and giving it a wag. Waggle, waggle, wag. Oh, thank you. I love you too. Dog pose. Dolphin pose. Coming down onto our knees. We crisscross our fingers in front of us and come down onto our forearms. Now we rock forwards and backwards like we're happy dolphins diving in and out of the waves, making our happy clicky dolphin noises. <laughs> Now dolphin pose is very good for strengthening our core, our shoulders and our upper arms. Oh, hello. Oh, I don't know if I can do that. Let me try. No, we're just going to have to stick with... <laughs> dolphin pose. Door pose. Coming down onto two knees, we take our leg to the side. We reach our arm up to the sky and rest our other hand on our long leg. Now we lean over to the side to creak open the door. Here we go. Ooh, it's getting pretty chilly out there. Now door or gate pose is very good for stretching our sides, making more space to breathe, stretching our legs, and it's especially good if we're waking up in the morning. I tell you what, it's also really good if you play sports. Yes. Now it's getting rather chilly in here, so let's close this door and do it on the other side. Coming back to two knees, taking your other leg long now, reaching up with your arm, and let's close this door. Eee! Ah, oh, phew, that's better. Now we can have a nice cup of tea to warm up. Oh, thanks. Door pose. Dragonfly pose. Coming down to lie on our tummies. We bring our hands underneath our shoulders and we lift up one of our feet. We point our toe to the sky and we use our other foot to scooch underneath our thigh, just above our knee to lift it even higher. Wow! Look, there's a dragonfly whizzing around. Oh, there she goes. Now, dragonfly pose is very good for stretching our thighs and our hips and strengthening our back. And it's also very good for a tummy ache. Let's see if we can do it on the other side. Lowering our legs all the way down, we lift up our other leg now, stretch it to the sky and using our foot to support it, lifting it up. Oh, here she comes again. Wow. Oh, careful. Dragonfly pose. Eagle pose. Bringing our feet together, we bend our knees. Now see if you can lift up one of your feet, or oh, try not to wobble, and cross your leg over the other, using your toes to balance on the floor next to your foot. Now take your arms nice and wide and scissor your arms. Wave with your underneath arm and twizzle your arms round each other, sitting down a little bit further, like you're a proud eagle sitting in your nest. Very good. Now, eagle pose is brilliant for getting better at balancing and concentrating, and it gives you a healthy boost of fresh oxygen when you release from it. Let's release now. Wow, oh, lovely. 
Now let's try it on the other side. We cross, we bend our knees and we cross the other leg over, coming down onto our toes to balance. Arms come wide. We scissor our arms, waving with our underneath arm, twizzling it round and bending our knees. Now we're going to release all together after three. Ready? One, two, three. Wow! Very good, everyone. Oh, look, it's a baby eagle. Welcome to the world. Eagle pose. Fish pose. Coming down to sit on our bottoms, pointing our toes in front of us. We drop down onto our elbows and then we pop 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 our chest to the sky maybe looking all the way up to the sky and maybe back behind us now fish pose is really good for giving our whole fronts of our bodies a big stretch and it's good if you're feeling nervous to get rid of that closed chest feeling now when i'm in fish pose i love to blow bubbles here we go wow that was pretty cool i wonder if i can do a shape here we go Oh, wow, can you see what it is? A heart. I'm getting quite good at these bubbles. Let me try again. Here we go. A bubble fish. And here comes a real fish. Oh, look, they've made friends. Oh, that's nice. Fish pose. Flamingo pose. Reaching up with one of your arms to make a lovely tall flamingo's neck. Now holding onto your foot, trying not to wobble, and drawing your foot towards your bottom to get a nice stretch. Now let's be proud flamingos and do a little hop. Ready? One, two, three. Whoop! Very good, everyone. Now flamingo pose is very good for practicing your balance and for getting a nice big stretch in your quads, which are the big muscles in the front of your thighs. Let's try it on the other side. Bringing your foot down, reach up with the other arm. Now hold onto your foot, drawing it in towards your bottom and let's do a little hop again. Ready? Whoop, very good. Oh, hello. Oh, you make this standing on one leg thing look easy. Oh, well, that's just showing off. Flamingo pose.